Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and here I'm going to show you how you can use the rotate command in the Katia V5 in the Surface Design Workbench. So I'm going to open up a uh, Surface Design Workbench and uh, before creating I'm going to create a point over here and with that I'm going to use I'm going to create a cylinder right here. So that's done. So now I'm going to create some points so that I can connect with the splines and create a surface which looks like a blade. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this compass over here and uh, with the help of this compass I'm going to create points in 3D, 3 dimension. So the compass location, I'll click OK. So the point is created over there. Now I'll create yet another point. I'll click on this. I'll, uh, I'll come over here. I'll change this a little bit. And I'll click compass location and click OK. Make sure that the points are being created wherever you click OK. Now I'm gonna bring it right here. And uh, this time I'm going to bring this a little bit backward and uh, compass location, click OK. And again, I'm going to bring it over here, bring it over here, somewhere over here, and uh, I'm going to come to the side view and bring it a little bit forward. So again, click on the point compass location. Click OK. Now you need two more points. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit and uh, I'm going to bring this a little bit over here. And I'm going to click on the point compass location. Click OK. Now I need one more point and uh, I'll bring this a little forward. Point compass location. Click OK. So all the points are being created, so you can bring this, keep it back over there. So now I'm going to use the line to connect these two points. And uh, OK, these two points. OK. Now you can use the spline command to connect these. Click OK. And use the spline command to connect these. And click OK. So now we can use the join command to join these lines and click OK and use the fill command to fill the surface. So one blade is being created over here. So I'm going to use this fill and I'm going to go to the operation rotate. So before doing the rotation, you need an axis of rotation. I'm going to give sketch and uh, take the line tool and create a line over here. So it's almost done now. So now you just have to take this fill and in the operation select rotate and uh, the axis is going to be this one. And uh, you know the degree is going to be around uh, 30. So just give preview. So here we go. We have this. So repeat object after OK and give around some four more instances. So uh, let's see what it looks like. So you have this much. So what you can do is you can uh, you know delete your previous command and uh, again come over here, give around sixty and. Uh, repeat object after OK and uh, click OK. So here we go. So we have this blade like thing being created around and uh, so this is how you can do the rotate and some few more commands which I've explained you can do together and come up to this uh, final figure. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.